classics. Where do you see them going? To rule the world! The classics. part of classics is, is it like I'm I fell in love with just having the group I think uh, it's, it's the best film in the world honestly yeah it's no higher <laughs> as my man just said it's no higher I feel honored to be in this this group that's so crazy to have all this diversity and and so much to look forward to so I'm just honored and happy to be here and happy to be part of this team, this strong ass team, this whole entity that's classic. My affiliation with classics is that I met Mike when he was just a wee little boy. And I'm called Mike is my cousin. But ever since I've known him, he's always been running after his father who Records of the turntables, fucking around with the with the techniques, breaking his pops needles. And around by eleven, um, he made his first DJ tape, mixtape, and gave it to me. And then from that point, dude had some. He could blend. He could scratch a little bit, and it sounded like something that some nineteen-year-old. So as he got older, around 18, he brought me his first beats. His stuff was pretty, I would say, unmarked, and I would say unique. I mean, you could tell what the influences were at that time, but you could see he was going in a cool direction. I met everybody in the classes like in different periods, so it was like, you know, cause me, um, Black Mike, we all went to the same high school. I met Triple Threat. Mike introduced me to Day. Like, I knew of Day, but I didn't know Day like that. Man. Make a long story short, we go meet him, whatever. So, you know, at first I was kind of, you know, kind of shaky about it because, you know, Day was in the hood. Day lived in the hood. So, <laughs> I was young. I was shook. You know what I mean? That nigga was in the hood. Like, you know what I'm saying? He was in the hood, hood. So I'm like, all right, whatever, we gonna go do it or whatever it is, what it is. Go meet him. I mean, once we get inside the doors, I'm good. So he was just like, hit me with the fire. And um, one thing that really stood out was this track. I don't know where he got it from. It was this hydraulic track. AOL, the AOL, for all y'all that don't know, Threat was the real person that made the AOL club song. He was the first person to ever do it. It wasn't really supposed to come out. But Mill got a hold of it and he dropped it because it was so hot, but we ain't getting enough time to do it over or whatever. So one of these the, the main track that was the hydraulic track. I don't know where he got these samples from, but it was like a, um, you know, hydraulics on the 6-4, and he was just like flipping it, flipping it, flipping it. I'm like, yo, this nigga, he's he's hot. So, you know, at the time, he was just playing with the club. He was always in the hip hop or whatever, but he was just playing with the club, so you know. That's how I, I met him. And um, from there, it was just like, it was crazy, it was magic. Beastie, Beastie's like, I don't know, Beastie's like that one fucking that's hard to catch up with. I mean, uh, I heard Beastie's music, you know, I had an opportunity to talk to him on the phone, we chat online. Um, Beastie is, you see that other link, that piece, it's like a puzzle. There's three of them. Without one, there's no puzzle. Each piece brings its own unique part to the classic. Now for my next number, I'd like to return to the classics. Well, um, to me the classics, the, the, the 
things that separates them from being, you know, similar to other other production teams, like other producers, is that you have three different producers that somehow link in, in an odd way. You can't really pinpoint it, but you they link. And not to mention their name. You know, they use a lot of classical music, some stuff that nobody's ever heard, and they somehow make it hot. I don't really understand. Well, when people ask me that question, shit, I'm biased. We like the best shit on the earth. The best. <laughs> when it comes to beat making, anybody can just sit down and do a track. But the way the classics do beats, the way we all do beats, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody has an input on that beat. You know what I'm saying? No one, no man, no one man does a beat, you know what I'm saying, bop by themselves. You know, understand what I'm saying? So it's like, like, Mike could probably start the track. You know what I mean, I got this idea, you know what I mean? Da -da 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 -da. Send it to Day. Day will put his input on it you know and do what he needs to do. Give it to Beast. Beast will put his little input on it. Send it back. Next thing you know, you got the track. So, you know, that's basically what it is. Like, you know what I mean? It's just like everybody has an input on it. And, you know, at the end of the day, when it's hot, you know what I mean? I was just like, you know, the. How can I say, uh, the go-to guy, I guess, uh, how this sound, you know what I mean? So I gave my opinion, you know what I'm saying? If it needed something, if I could, you know what I mean, I'd try to touch it up or whatever, do it like that, you know what I mean? But basically, like, I'd throw acapellas on something, rock it at a party, put it on mixtapes, do what I do. I might turn it into a club song if it's hot like that, so, you know, that's just, that's pretty much what it is. But that's what makes the difference from a, a lot of producers, you know what I mean, like, the team, everybody in the team has an input on that track, and they not afraid to take chances neither. They turn like things that you wouldn't even think of being uh, a song, as far as like hip hop, R and B, whatever. They just take a sample and just twist it. You never like. You gotta think. You sit there. You really have to listen to see if they even sample because you know. Everybody, yo, know, they talented, man. Like a lot of, a lot of, it's a lot of people out here that call themselves producers. The classics are producers. You know, they take time, you know what I mean? And they work on all that stuff. That's why we click, you know what I mean? What makes them different is that they're not afraid to experiment. And that's what other producers are afraid to do. With the industry, everything is guidelines, you know? Everyone must use this set of sounds. Everyone must have this drum pattern, or everyone must act like this. What they bring to the table is that dish that no one thought about bringing back again. It's that piece of history. They experimented with moog sounds and synthesizers that people thought were long gone, and they bring that sound back. So I think that's what's missing from the industry. Everybody's so caught up on, I need to give me a trinity, and that's what makes me sound hot. You know, that's not what it is. Is bringing a sound, and I think a love for music that's been missing over the years.